Hello YouTubers and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about air humidifiers. No, not why you need them. If you are watching this video, for sure you know that you need one, especially during the winter season. But we will discuss about how to integrate it in Home Assistant, of course, with the help of a smart power socket. I explained the idea in my previous video. I think you can uh, have the, uh, a link with, uh, with that video here on top. So, um, how to make with Home Assistant your humidifier to start and stop automatically, depending on your room humidity level. And uh, because of that, you'll most likely forget about your humidifier. You will have it uh, there lying on a shelf, uh, starting and stopping by itself. It's most likely you will forget uh, to refill it. Therefore, I will teach you how to create a notification to be notified on your mobile phone that the humidifier has run out of water and it needs a refill. I'm talking about simple ultrasonic uh, air humidifiers like this one here. You can uh, get them from Amazon for less than 40, maybe even uh, 30 euro. And um, fair warning about them, compared with the ones that are boiling the water, the ultrasonic humidifiers tend to uh, produce a thin uh, coat of uh, white dust in the room. This white dust might be very dangerous, uh, especially for newborn kids. Newborn kids. But I have found a solution to, to this issue, so uh, stay tuned. In order to have this process running, you will need a room sensor that can measure the room humidity. For these purposes, I can highly recommend you some Zigbee products, like the ones from uh, Sonoff or from Tuya. I like the Tuya better because it has uh, also a screen and you can uh, immediately have the readings. You will have links in the description below of the video with uh, all the products that I'm uh, presenting in this video. Please note that these are not affiliated links. I'm not affiliated and I'm not paid by any of these companies to, to do this video. I'm doing it just for you to, to make your life more comfortable, like I did. So you will need a sensor that will measure the room humidity. And then with the help of a custom component in, uh, in Home Assistant, you will automate the power socket to start and stop the humidifier based on the readings produced by the sensor. Many thanks to Adrian for developing this so-called switch humidifier. You will find in the description of this video a link to this component. To get it installed, we need to click on the code button and download zip so we could save it locally. And while it's downloading, let's have a quick look at the documentation. I will walk you to the installation process so we can skip this for now. And uh, that's the usage. So as written here, you need to add the following lines in the configuration uh, YAML file of Home Assistant. And some important uh, fields here are the switch ID and the sensor ID. So this is the power socket switch and the humidity sensor that the component it's, uh, it's watching, like a generic thermostat, but this one works with humidity, not with temperature. Now that the file is downloaded, you need to go to the config folder of your home assistant and here in the custom components folder. If you don't have this folder, just create it. Here we unzip the folder as, as it is and uh, let's have a look at the YAML file. We just need to add those lines. I already changed these values to match my setup. So bedroom humidifier and master bedroom uh, humidity. Type it's humidifier and uh, delta I uh, set it to 5. We need to save the file. And further, we need to identify the power consumption of the humidifier in its various states. For this, we are accessing the web interface of uh, the power socket. Currently, the device is turned off. Active power is zero. And uh, the device has no water tank installed. So now we will measure the power that the device consumes in out of water state. I will turn on the device. And we see that we have around one to two watts in out of water state. I will turn it off and I will now install the water tank. Good, I will turn back on the device. And we see that 
it consumes around 24 watts. Good. Uh, this means that we have a pattern for uh, for device states. So let's have a look at the platform sensor that I have defined. It's bedroom humidifier state, friendly name bedroom humidifier. This is further important for the uh, automation that sends the notifications for out of water states. If the switch is turned on and the consume power is smaller than or equal with two, then uh, the state is out of water. If the switch is turned on, but the consumed power is bigger than two, then the state is running. And else, if the state uh, of the switch is off, then the device is uh, idling. After this, we need to restart Home Assistant, but don't forget to check the configuration first. If the configuration is not valid, then please go back and correct any mistakes reported there. And now let's use the humidifier component. So on this new dashboard, let's add some components. We have the bedroom humidifier. And then I want to add some entities. I already wrote the code for them. Let's exit the edit mode. So basically this and this are the same entity. Yeah. And I have here the state, the platform sensor that uh, we previously created. I have the room humidity, that's the smart power socket, and this is the humidifier. Let's start it. And let's set the target humidity to more than 46. So being the 41 current humidity plus the delta, which I remember it was five. As you can see, the switch has immediately turned on. I don't know if you noticed that the humidity state was initially out of water and changed immediately in running. Actually, not quite immediately, but only after five seconds because that's, uh, I forgot to mention, that it's uh, the power socket, power consumption sensor report interval, five seconds. So expect to, to have it uh, out of water in the five uh, in the first five seconds, and assuming that humidity has reached uh, the desired uh, percent, the switch will automatically turn off. Let's simulate this by doing by lowering the the percent with more than uh, five uh, points. So that's it. Let's have a look now at the automation. Uh, that notifies you on the mobile phone uh, about uh, the humidifier running out of water. So I have here the automations and here is the out of water bedroom humidifier automation. So if the device state switches to out of water, regardless the initial state, for more than 10 seconds, because I remind you the report interval is 5 seconds, so um, it's a safety margin of 2 reports. Then if this is out of water for more than 10 seconds, just fire a notification that the humidifier needs to be refilled. And let's simulate this. Let's turn this on and simulate an out of uh, water state by unplugging the device so the um, consumption will switch to zero. Ah, I think it has arrived but the phone is on to do not disturb mode and here it is bedroom humidifier needs to be refilled. To avoid such dust, it's highly recommended to use distilled water in your humidifier. Why is that? Because tap water contains thin minerals. These minerals are very useful to our body, but during the process of ultrasonic air humidification, these minerals are spread into the air 
and they lay down on our floors and our furniture and, and so on. So distilled water doesn't contain such minerals, therefore it's safe to be used in uh, air humidifiers. However, although I'm not quite a cheap guy, I found the prices of the distilled water in my area quite high. So I searched for a solution and I found this zero water filter. And this filter really does what the name is saying. It really removes all the minerals from the water. You can buy such a filter from Amazon for about 30 euro. And uh, with the water that I have in my region, I noticed that such a filter uh, lasts for one season in, in my case. So uh, having it replaced once a year, it's, uh, it's more, than, more than affordable for me. Mm. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. If that's the case, please consider subscribing and also clicking on the bell button. You will get notified when uh, I post a new video. Click on the like button. If you dislike the video, yeah, of course you have the dislike button, but press it twice just to be sure. Till next time.